In this video, we are going to take you on a tour to discover Gizira Island, or what's known also by Zemelik Island. It's one of the most interesting places you can visit and discover in Egypt. It has a long history and also full of treasures. The history of Zemelik goes back to the 19th century. Actually, before that time, people used to live only on the east side of the Nile. Then, in the 19th century, Egypt was ruled by a very important ruler. His name is Khedive Ismail. He is the grandson of Muhammad Ali, the founder of modern Egypt. At that time, he was preparing for uh, the inauguration of a project that was about to change the trade in the world, the inauguration of the Suez Canal. Cairo was changing, projects everywhere to beautify Egypt. Also, it was the time for Zamalek Island to change. The Khedive Ismail decided to build a beautiful palace on this island. This was the first construction ever to be built on the, on the island. Gezira Palace was built and all the area around the palace was beautified. Beautiful gardens were made and a bridge was built to connect the city with the island. Everything was beautiful, everything was perfect. But short time after the inauguration of the Suez Canal and after Empress Eugenie left Egypt, they were running out of money, so it was important to start selling what they already made. This is when gradually the gardens of the palace were divided and it was reused. So for example, part of the gardens of the palace, it was turned into a sporting club during the British colony in 1882. Today, this is Gezira Sporting Club. Also part of the land around the palace was turned into a construction sites. So uh, members of the family of Muhammad Ali, they wanted to leave downtown because it became crowded with the time and they wanted to live in a more relaxed place. So they start building their palaces around Gezira Palace on Zamalek Island. The palace itself was sold. It was turned into an hotel and it's among the luxurious grand hotels, the early grand hotels in Egypt. To explore the beauty of Zamalek Island, you get there through the historical bridge Kasrinir that was originally built in the 19th century, but it was rebuilt again in 1931. Once you cross the bridge, you find the old historical lines on your side, on your right and on your left side. Then you find in front of you a statue for a famous Egyptian nationalist, Saad Zaghloul. That beautiful statue was sculpted by a famous Egyptian artist, Mahmoud Mukhtar. If you walk 500 meters behind the statue, you are going to find the Museum of Mahmoud Mukhtar that you should visit and explore. Right in front of Mahmoud Mukhtar Museum, we have the complex of the Cairo Opera House. The Cairo Opera House originally was built in the 19th century in downtown, but unfortunately it got burned down in 1971. But thanks to our Japanese friend, they offered us a fund to rebuild the Cairo Opera House, but this time it was rebuilt on Zamalek Island. Inside the complex of Cairo Opera House, you get to enjoy the beauty of Egyptian art and understand how the art was rebirthed again in Egypt uh, at the early 20th century, while you get to explore the Museum of Modern Egyptian Art. Right beside the Cairo Opera House complex, we have also an important landmark of Cairo. The Cairo Tower is a famous landmark for us Egyptians. It was built in 1961, and at the time it was built, it was the highest building in Egypt and in Africa, and it remained like that for about 50 years. The height of the Cairo Tower is 187 meters. The shape of the tower, it takes the shape of the lotus flower, an important symbol in ancient Egypt. On a clear day, you get to enjoy an excellent panoramic view of our beautiful city, Cairo. From the Cairo Tower, you walk further to the north. You'll pass by beautiful gardens. This is the remainings of the gardens, the beautiful gardens of the palace. And today, most of them are turned into sporting clubs. Then, after a short while, you are going to reach Marriott Hotel. This is where the Gezira Palace used to be. And today, it still has a part of that palace. Starting Gezira Palace, this is starting the residential part of the island. Actually, most people will be referring to the residential area by Zamalek, while the southern part of the island, they will call it Gezira, which means island in Arabic. The residential area is very interesting. First of all, right beside Gezira Palace, we have the Palace of Prince Hamra Ibrahim, which is today turned into a museum for the Islamic ceramic. 
currently not open, but hopefully it will be open soon after restoration work. Walking in Zamalek is not only about exploring the history, but also about exploring Cairo today. You are going to see everyday Cairo, the life of the people, the coffee shops, and most importantly, also the art. Zamalek hosts many art galleries where you get to see the artwork of contemporary Egyptian artists, as well as many craft shops that sell high quality Egyptian crafts. Hope you enjoyed our virtual walking tour in Zamalek and soon we'll get to walk and explore the beauty of our country. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Walk Like an Egyptian.